I've come along to uh, Murray House today to look at the uh, Southern Plan with me, Howard Quayle, who's in charge of planning. Uh, I believe this is the first. This is the first time we've had a coordinated idea of how to, to join up government better in the future. Is that fair? Yes, I think in, in the past, the, the area that we're looking at now and the plan that we're proposing for the south of the island would have been made up of five different plans in the past. So this is one joined up area. So we, we can devise a strategy for the whole of the south of the island. So instead of having piecemeal bits here or there, we can do the whole of the south. OK, break it down for me. What exactly are you talking about? I mean, literally everything? All the different departments would normally have to you'd go off and do different things with? Well, no, you, you, you'd do one... In, in the past, it, it had been done in five separate pieces, so this is one big area done all, all at one go. Now, an inspector was involved in this, right? Mm -hmm. An yeah. independent inspector. OK, but uh, the Russian MHKs aren't playing ball with you. Well... I have every sympathy for the Russian MHKs. As, as a MHK, a constituency member will come to me when the Eastern Area Plan, after the Southern Area Plan, we're going to review the Strategic Plan and then we're going to do the Eastern Area Plan, which is my constituency. And I should imagine that there will be areas in my constituency where some of my constituents don't want that, that area or you know, mm. block of fields to be zoned. And as a constituency MHK, you've got to look after the wishes of your constituents so I have a sympathy for the, the but it's Russian. a blow right it's, it's not good news to have them not on your side to start with well the, there's five south southern MHKs two are supporting the plan the Russian MHKs are only objecting on one area alone the rest of the plan they're more than happy with so is a compromise available on this or is this a done deal if you can get it through it's, it's not a case the the people and the MHKs of Russian have had the opportunity they've been able to go and see the inspector, write in, attend a meeting, give evidence. He's listened to, to their views and come up with his decision as an independent inspector on what's right yeah, for, I'm, for I'm, that area. I'm asking the question, is it, is it still movable? Or no, is, is, no. Is the, the, put where, when this plan goes onto the floor of Timwald, that's it. You can't, mm. uh, you can't make any alterations to it whatsoever. You either accept the plan yeah. or you don't accept the plan. So, are you happy with this? I'm very happy. Well, um, yes, I am happy with it. A lot of work, hard work has gone into this. I mean, I've only been chairman of planning and the political member with responsibility for planning for the last 17 months. This has been on the go for four and a half years. But everything has been followed to the letter of the law to, you know, to get it to this level. It's as good as we can get. We, we have to provide housing for um, the island and the you know to, for the future of the island and you're never going to get utopia you're never going to have everyone agreeing to um, everything that you do and I think as long as it's independent and it's for the good of the island and the south of the island then that's the best you can do really. Did it cost a lot? I'm not sure of the of, of the total cost I, I should imagine it'll have cost more than 10,000 and um, I, I should imagine yes I, I would have to check on that. And after this one, you're rolling out... We're going, to do a, we're going to do a review of the strategic plan, first of all, just to check on, on, not all of it, but just certain areas that maybe need adapting, look at the um, figures from the census to see where we need to be looking at, having you know, looked at all the collated evidence, and then we'll be moving on to the eastern area plan next.